Hi, I'm Russ Peterman, Senior Minister here at University Christian Church, and I want to welcome you to the Book of Acts. And I am so glad that you're here, and I hope that you'll join us as we read through this fascinating book together. Much as we discovered this spring when together we read through the Gospel of Luke, what we identified as the Gospel of Nobodies, something powerful happens when a community of faith joins together committing to read and study the scriptures together in a very intentional way, growing together on what it means to follow Jesus and also what it means to be church. So for this series, what we're calling Unstoppable, the spirit unleashed in the book of Acts, we've put together a reading plan. There will be weekly videos like this featuring in-depth notes on the daily readings. There'll be small group discussion guides and so much more all of which is designed to help us think and reflect on the ways that the Spirit is leading us, calling us into new ways of being. Now, the book of Acts is one of the wildest books in the Bible, and it tells stories and describes events that are so unfamiliar to our lives and to our experiences as people of faith. There are miraculous prison escapes. There are appearances by angels. There's ordinary people suddenly speaking in languages that they've never learned. There's rousing speeches that either convince or infuriate huge crowds of people. And there's also an unwavering sense of hope. This book is exciting because it tells a story in which anything seems possible now that the spirit has arrived and a new day has dawned. Acts urges us to dream bigger and to expect more. And so as we begin, here's what you need to know, that the book of Acts was written by Luke, a doctor who went to great lengths to interview as many eyewitnesses to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And he wrote it all down in, well, you guessed it, the Gospel of Luke. And so Acts is essentially Luke part two. Now, the way that we've broken up the reading planning is that we'll be reading one chapter a day, Monday through Friday, and Saturday you can use as a catch-up day if you missed a day, and then Sunday I'll be preaching on one of the texts that we have read that week. So again, I am so glad that you're joining us for this journey. I hope it will be rich and, and help ignite our imaginations about the character of the Christian message, about the work of God's people, the church and the challenges of living faithfully in a complex and changing world, as well as our role in continuing the story of Jesus's unstoppable kingdom.